back to another lip balm review. This one is so far overdue. It is purely stupid of me. Uh, I've reviewed two from this set. Now there's this one, and there's still one more to go after it. But this is the um, Dia de los Muertos um, Sugar Skull in Hot Chocolate. I still have the pink one to go after this one, and I don't remember what flavor it is. I also don't remember where it is, so I'll have to go dig around and find it. But uh, for today, anyway, we're doing this one, and it's a good thing because in the holiday collection of flip balms from Lip Smacker, uh, there was one that was hot chocolate as well. My sister kind of accidentally ruined that one on me. Yeah, so I mean, I, I kept it for the cute packaging, but the product is wrecked. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one and hope that it actually is, like, a dupe of that one, because then I won't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. Okay, so, first things first, I'll just show you the little graphic-y up here of the hot cocoa, if it'll focus. I don't think it is, but that's okay. It's just a little mug with chocolate or hot chocolate in it with a bar of chocolate next to it so you're not missing out on much but let's get this guy out of here or girl we don't know what it is but i definitely already smell chocolate so that's a good sign come on you it smells like a tootsie roll honestly it's like straight up exactly like one so here it is it's really cute actually i like it if I were thinking, I would have waited a couple more months before doing them, but eh, why not? So, as we all know, I mean, this is kind of huge compared to the Christmas ones. Like, I still have one out. Um, just saying, just slightly, slightly bigger. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that is about the exact same shade as the other one. Actually, I think this one smells richer than the other did, so I think I like this one more, which is good. It smells really good. We'll come back to that, but format-wise, it is a flip balm, as we can see. Um, what the heck was that? It's not like there was a fly in here that's, that just flew past my head. I was like, um, hmm. Okay, then. Anyways, um, <laughs> packaging is very cute, but it's that really hollow, cheap-sounding plastic, which... Makes me sad because it could so easily break and I still have issues with the fact that there are gaps in here where you can legit see the actual product and if you can see it that means dirt and dust and grime can get all up in there so unless you're storing them in Ziploc baggies good luck keeping them clean once they're open just saying just saying uh, but anyway these are synthetic because they're lip smackers they're always synthetic um, and I believe these are limited edition. I don't know if you can buy these on the site still. I don't know if they're planning on bringing them back this year or doing new ones or what they're planning on doing there. Uh, but I actually feel like I haven't seen them on the site in a while now. So they may have actually discontinued them, but that's all right. Um, that was part of a set of four. Amount of product, does it say on here? 0.26 ounces, so a little hair more than an EOS or a Revo. Uh, which is nice, even though I still look at that and go, how? Freaking how? <laughs> but supposedly it is, so I don't know. But, um, shelf life, does it say? 24 months after opening. Um, price on these, I honestly forget offhand because it's been almost a year. So, <laughs> um, but I, I think they were like five or six dollars. They were kind of steep. All the flip bombs are from Lip Smacker, so I mean, honestly, I miss the Zoom Zooms, but I'm sure if they bring out more, if these are going for what they go for now, I'm sure the Zoom Zooms will be even steeper than they were before. Maybe that's why they aren't really doing those, and they're leaning more towards these and away from Zoom Zooms, I don't know, but I miss the Zoom Zooms if we're being honest, but anyway. Um, Sturdiness-wise, like I said, it's really cheap-sounding plastic, I don't exactly trust that. It does just swing open, so I don't know how practical it really is to throw in a purse or a bag or anything without worrying about that. It's up to your own discretion there, guys. Um, but these, for me, are at-home lip balms. Um, 
There's no special features other than just that flipping action, but it's that same flipping action that makes it feel flimsy and like it may break. And the Blistex flip bombs, uh, we saw when I reviewed one of those that one of them legit already came broken. The other one broke not too long after getting it, so I mean, the hinges on them are not always the greatest. Um, I had another brand, there was the Palmer's flip bombs. One of those had a hinge break, so... Knockwood, I haven't had a hinge break yet in the lip smacker ones, but they also don't get used as heavily, so I don't know. But just judging by other brands that have done similar, that is usually their downfall, is that same hinge that makes them unique is also the thing that makes them break. So, yeah, there's that. But anyway, sorry, my hair is in my face and bugging me. But scent-wise, it smells really nice. Like I said, the closest thing I can compare it to is a Tootsie Roll, but it's like a richer version of a Tootsie Roll. Like if chocolate fondant and a Tootsie Roll had a baby, that's what this smells like. <laughs> Which is probably the weirdest thing I could compare that to, but that's what it smells like to me. Do I straight up think of hot chocolate when I smell this? No. I think it's Tootsie Rolls, but I mean, it is chocolate, so I mean, it's not wrong, it's not incorrect, just it doesn't smell that hot chocolate even. I don't know, maybe it needs more cream or something added to it, or marshmallow to make it feel more hot chocolatey to me, I don't know, but go ahead and go ahead and put it on. Oh, wait. It, I swear, it's like even richer now. Now it's more like chocolate frosting. Sorry, it's like super thin. So I'm kind of caking it on. That's weird. Now it doesn't smell as Tootsie Rollish, now it smells more like canned chocolate frosting. Straight up. <laughs> Which is okay by me, I love that. But, um, let's see, does it have a flavor? I hope it does. Generic sweet. So technically there is flavor there, but the flavor is not chocolate, it's just the Lip Smacker generic sweet flavor, so. Okay, that's alright. I mean, it's definitely not a lie. It is flavored, just not like what it smells like. <laughs> so, anyway, um, thickness wise, I mean, I just like caked it on. So, it feels thicker on right now, but it's in reality a fairly thin lip balm. Um, I can still kind of feel rough spots on my lips through it a little bit. But not terribly so, but then again, I caked it on, so that's probably helping with that. Um, it's very, very smooth and very creamy. Um, it doesn't feel sticky or waxy or anything, so that's always nice. Um, let's see, is it shiny? It's shiny! Hey! Hello, I like shiny. Um, I can't really tell off the top of my head if it's going to moisturize or not. I will be honest with you. Um, so far for me, um, the flip bombs from Lip Smacker, while they haven't done zero, I mean, they've done something, they haven't done a lot. So, I mean, they're in that weird middle zone where they're not really, like, protecting you from the elements. But they're not really actively moisturizing either. I mean, these are kind of just for funsies. They smell good. They taste good. They're made for kids. I mean, what do you want? Um, what do I want? I want Lip Smackers to go back to the quality that they were always known for. But, I mean, beggars cannot be choosers. So, just saying. That's what I would want. But that's not how it works now. So, anyway. Um, sh uh, I already did Shine Factor. Drink test. Let's do the drink test. And it just failed. Badly. It just 
even as much as I caked on that one spot that the straw was pressed against, it just went down to nothing from four quick sips. That is ridiculous. There is no excuse for that, so... <clears throat> on that point. So... Am I giving it the wow factor? No. Um, let me think. What would I rate it? Well... I'm still just personally annoyed with the flip bombs in general being the format they are because of the freaking gap in the side. And just, I don't know. For me, it is a major pet peeve. A huge one. So for me, that is a point. The packaging feeling is cheap and flimsy as it is, is a point. Um, the price for what they are is a point, even though I get most of it's probably just the packaging itself and not for the product, but it is what it is. Um, failed the drink test, didn't get the wow factor. Verdict's out about the moisturization, but since I don't know for certain, I'm not going to dock that point. So I am going to go ahead and give this a 5 out of 10, it's very middle of the road, it's very cute, it's very cute. If you want it for collecting purposes, it's great for that. If you just want something that smells nice and tastes good, I mean, it's good for that. But if you want one that's actually going to like do something for you, I think you need to look elsewhere, if we're being honest. So, anyways, that is that. That's funny, the two in a row both got the same score, but anywho, that's it for me for this one. So as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below about this, about anything, they're always welcome in the comments. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, until next time, bye bye